Hello, I'm Laurie Warren. I'm going to show you how to format your paper in an MLA formatting style. Your paper should begin with your name, your instructor's name, the subject name, the date, with the day, month, and year in this order, and your title. Your title needs to be centered, so we'll move that over. Your paper also needs to be in Times New Roman. So we're going to come over and do a select all, because there's several things we want to do here. We want to change it to Times New Roman. We want it in to be at 12 points. It also needs to be double spaced. And the margins need to be set. And we're going to go to Page Layout, Margins. The margins need to be one inch all around, so we're checking here a normal. We need to also insert our last name and a page number on each of these pages. To do that, you go to Insert, come over to Page Number, not Header, but Page Number, choose Top of Page, select Plane Number 3, and then type in your last name with a space. Clicking out of the header, we're going to look over our paper. I see that on the first line of the first paragraph, it's not indented, and it should be. So I will click and then hit the tab button. And we'll look through the paper to make sure everything is flowing correctly. All the paragraphs, first lines are indented, the page numbers, and our name on each of the pages. Now it's time to include a Works Cited page. To do that, we first need to have it put on a separate page. We're going to click at the very last of our paper, the last sentence at the end, and we're going to click Insert Page Break. This will put our Works Cited page on a separate sheet. So Works Cited, it needs a title. I'll type that in. It also needs to be centered. Now we're ready to add the citations, which I've put together on a separate piece of paper. Then just copy and paste them. My work cited also needs to be double spaced, New Times New, <laughs> Times New Roman, and 12 points, um, which I have those things. I just need to come back up to the Home tab and double space. There we go. It's not quite done yet because with the MLL st MLA style, your citations need to have hanging indent. The easiest way to do this is to highlight and then hit Control T. You're highlighting each of your citations individually, and again, hit Control T. These are all in alphabetical order. Make sure your um, citations are laid out correctly. Don't just copy them from a database. You need to make sure you're following your MLA style guide. You can find that at the library's webpage um, under MLA Citation Guide. Good luck on your paper.